Welcome back YouTube to another day of painting in the basement. But today's a little different. I'm going to be painting all the trim and all the doors. Uh, so that's actually going to require a bunch of prep work. All the trim that you can see up here behind me, all the crown molding, all the doors, all the base molding, all the way around the whole basement. So that'll get done here shortly. But in preparation for all that, I'm actually going to be taping off all of the ceilings, the areas where I just painted, because I'm going to be spraying all the trims. I bought a tool I've never used before, uh, but I'm curious to see how that's going to work out. It's um, essentially a, a masking tool that applies tape to paper as you roll it out. So I'm curious to see how that works out. But I'm going to do that on all the ceilings and all the way around all the windows and doors, because I'm going to be painting the trim around the windows and doors. So. Wish me luck. Hopefully that goes well and doesn't cause too much consternation. Uh, a part of my problem is I'm really perfectionist on a lot of this stuff, so if I don't get the taping just right or if all that other stuff doesn't get just right, it bothers me, but it doesn't really matter anyway because honestly, it, you don't really pay that much attention to the trim work, uh, I think, when you get painted. When everything looks, when everything's painted and finished and looks nice from afar anyway, nobody really gets up close to your paint and looks and inspects everything, so I'm just gonna have to get over that, I guess. Anyway, let's get after it. We'll see how it turns out. So, first thing I gotta do is get these doors off their hinges, because I'm gonna paint these doors separately to get as uh, best of coverage as I can on it. So I'm gonna actually get all these doors taken out, do that as quick as I can. I got four doors. I've already taken this one off its hinges and moved it to where I'm going to paint. So one door, two, three, and then there's another one in that room. spray got on some of them so I'm actually gonna go back with a little bit of paint thinner and take all the little all that little bit of overspray and uh, a little bit of primer got on them too but anyway those will clean up nice and easy so those are off all four doors are here I got all the brackets off of them what I'm gonna do now is actually I'm gonna put up some um, masking paper right over this wall why is this thing can't focus at all so right here on this wall, I'm actually going to go and put in some masking paper and tape it up and then put these doors out over top of them and then actually spread them out so that they can get sprayed individually all the way around and not make too much of a mess. Then after I get those put up, I'm going to start taping off these windows, doors, and then start taping up all the ceiling and I'll start spraying everything. All right, it's been a little bit of time now. I got plastic sheeting up here now, which is going to be trying to control any extra overspray from the doors. So I got the doors set up. I got the plastic behind the doors so that when I actually spray these, it doesn't get all over the walls. Although I'm going to paint the walls afterward anyway, so if a little bit gets on it, it shouldn't be too big a deal. But I got the windows actually covered in this plastic also. I goofed here and actually cut the plastic a little bit too short, so I had to cover it with a little bit of extra tape. But all those are covered, the doors are covered. I decided to use the plastic to let a little bit of light in instead of actually putting in the paper, which would have made it really dark down here. But anyway, that is all of the casing done. So this is the tool that I picked up that helps you apply paper and tape at the same time. You can see this, this guy right here, but I'm gonna unbox this thing it was pretty expensive actually, I think it was like 70 bucks. But it looks like it's supposed to help a lot. It comes with this plastic film, which I'm actually gonna swap out and put paper on. And it also comes with some tape, which I'm also gonna swap out for some 3M stuff that I got. But I'm gonna unbox this thing, get it all set up. And then I'm gonna start taping all the ceilings all the way around, and then I'll start painting. All right, some more progress has been made. I've gotten the 
this first wall taped just so that I don't get any overspray on the ceiling, which is already finished. This is 18 inch paper. I actually don't, I think it's a little bit too long. I really don't even need that much paper on it, but I will, um, I don't know why this thing has such a hard time focusing on this stuff. But anyway, this is the tape job that I got going on here. I'm gonna put the camera down and show you the kind of method that I've got going here as I tape along this side here. I'm using this. Well, it's the next day. I have finished all of the trim painting in here. I painted all the doors. I painted all the window frames, door frames, all that stuff's been painted in here. It actually turned out really, really nice. I didn't film any of it because I already have a couple of uh, videos out there of me actually spraying, but I did film how I taped everything off and the, the taping, the masking that I did actually worked really well and I had nice solid edges everywhere. A couple of places peeled a little bit of paint because I pulled the uh, masking paper down a little bit too late and the paint had already dried, but anyway. Nothing that a little brush and a little bit of paint to touch it up won't fix. So let me take you walk you around here and let you look at it. The doors actually turned out beautifully. Nice and even, you can see. There's no brush strokes on it. This is what you get when you spray the paint. The, ah, this thing has such a hard time focusing because it's so all the, everything's white down here. But you can see just it turned out great. No brush strokes. All of the doors turn out beautifully. I'm really happy about that. If the other two doors are over here, I'm gonna hang the doors again today. Here's the window frame. This thing's have such a freaking hard time focusing for some reason. All the windows got painted, all the trim around the doors, even the doors, I painted the doors as well. Those all turned out really good. Really nice. I'm really pleased with how that went. All the baseboard, all the crown molding. Yeah, really nice in here too. The hallway and the gym, everything turned out great. Today I'm going to be painting in here. I'm actually going to be painting the walls. So this room is actually going to be done very soon. In fact, I just ordered the gym flooring. It's a uh, half inch rubber, uh, rubber mat. And what else did I just order for here? I just ordered the recessed lights, so those will be in here as well. And what else was it? Oh, and then I'm going to put mirrors on this wall right here. Three vertical mirrors. They're three feet wide each, and they should go right across that spot. 
Today I'm going to paint the gym. I'm actually not going to film any of that because it's you guys have already seen a bunch of me painting stuff, but I will film the end result. Um, I need to go pick up some electrical outlets and a switch so that way I can turn everything on and off in there. And then I also need to get a wall mount for my TV and then that room is ready to go. I can start using the, the gym to actually work out again. Uh, so that's exciting. First room to actually be finished in the basement coming soon. Thanks for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.